Hey guys, it's me Gavin, and today we're going to do a puppet collection. Now my phone is charging, so I don't really, I can't really like, go through it like I do with the Mario plushies. So I got them all on my bed right now. Sophie is up here, so <laughs> she's just going to be in the video, I guess. Look how sweet this cat is. He's a loaf of bread. Your butt is close to the camera, Sophie. She was born without a tail, as you can see. Alright, let's get started in the collection. So, first off, we got Kermit. This is my very first puppet I ever got. I've always wanted a Kermit pup. Oh, I always wanted a Kermit puppet for so long. And I finally got one for Christmas in 2018. So, um, so on the back, you put your hand in. <coughs> and there you go. That's how you control the mouth. I'll try to cover up the light of the fan as much as I can because I know if I take it out, it'll kind of block everything. So I'm going to try to block it like that. But there's only one problem with it. Um, the little thing keeps going up and I want it to stay down. But sadly, it will not stay like that. But yet, you just move the mouth like that. You can move its hands. It's... He, obviously, you can also make him do the scooby dop dop. You see, no. Oh wait, scooby dop 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 dop. Yes, yes, yes. So that that's a dead meme, but I just <clears throat> wanted to do it. His eyes are not ping pong balls; they're like squishy piece of fabric. Um, it doesn't look too much like the real Kermit, but that doesn't really bother me. Um, he is wearing out. You see that part of the face is kind of peeled off right there. Which is not, which is not how it's supposed to look, but that's just from over time. And that just shows how worn out it is. <clears throat> <clears throat> worn out it is. There you go. Um, I had to clear out my throat, but there's the tongue and there's the back of it. The tonsils, tonsils, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, it's my Kermit puppet. There's the little tag. So yeah, very cool puppet. Next up, in my puppet show I just started like a few days ago. Copper, the copper show. I just started where Nathan was bullying um, Toby. Yeah, that's his name. Um, but we'll get into those puppets later. But this is the main character of the Copper Show. He does not have any legs, but he does have arms. Um, put your hand in there. There you go. That's how you control Copper. And he's actually got some little things so you could put sticks on it, but I never, but I never really done that. I tried it with straws before, but it didn't really work out. But I had this one for a really long time, too. I think I got this... Hmm. Oh, yeah. I got this... I know early 2019. So, early 2019. I don't remember what month I got it. But, yeah. I just know I got it early 2019. So, yeah. Now, you might be like, if you don't know... You might be like, Gavin, why'd you name him Copper? Well, I didn't know what Copper really was. I just kind of made up a name. Um, but Copper is like a like a material. But I named him Copper because he is actually a cop. Just the shirt looks like a cop shirt. I just immediately when I saw him, I was just like, he has to be a cop. So I turned him into a cop. And yeah, that's why I named him Copper. And that's what he's been named ever since I first got him. Uh, his tongue and whatever you want to call the other thing back there is way bigger than Kermit, definitely. Um, and his mouth is actually way more easier to control than Kermit's. Kermit's got some more force into it, but this one, you're just kind of free on doing it. So, that's a lot better. Um, like, the jaw is more better than Kermit. <coughs> and the hair got hair so you know it's regular human you can take its shirt off you see you could take its shirt off i have done that sometimes so yeah i really like this puppet a lot 
Like, this is definitely one of my favorites in the collection. Because it's such a classic. And, you know, it's kind of the leader of the show. So, yeah, it's copper. So, yeah, definitely one of my favorites. Oh, uh, next up is Toby. <clears throat> so, this was in my first episode because I've only made one episode. And, um, I got this on... Again, actually, I got this the same day I got Kermit. I got, my Mimi got this for me, and my mama got this for me. But my Mimi got this for me, you know, December 2018. And, um, <clears throat> it is a very small puppet, obviously, because it's a kid. So, you, I can just use two fingers to control it if I want to, or three. I usually do three or two. He's got some curly hair like Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> and he's got lightning on his shirt. I actually didn't know what to name him when I wanted to start the series. I was going to name him Lightning, but I just said nope. And I went with Toby. Uh, he used to have shoes, but I don't know where they are anymore. Sadly, I don't. But this is a really cool puppet. It's, my, it's not my smallest one. I almost said that, but there's smaller ones in the collection that you'll see. <clears throat> later that you'll see later you can take its shirt off you see and the pants are removable also so like if you want to get them like different clothes i guess you can do that like maybe you can go to the store and get some like baby clothes because you know this shirt would actually be perfect for a baby like your baby brother or baby sister so i don't know if you have this puppet try that um, this could be your baby brother or sister's clothes. Who knows? Like, because I think this is baby-sized. I don't know. But it came with clothes, so who knows? Maybe it can fit a baby. I'm pretty sure. But, yeah, you can take its shirt and pants off. Um, so you can, so it is possible to get him more clothes. Just go to the store and get some baby clothes. So that would be my suggestion if you do want to do that. If you don't want to keep a lightning shirt on him. But, you know, that's just kind of his thing. He's been having a lightning shirt, so I'm going to keep that. And I'm pretty sure the lightning is overlay. Kind of like my Kelly Toy Mario. Um, his eyes and buttons and, and label is overlay. But, yeah, it's the same material. This is, I'm pretty sure this is overlay for the lightning. Um, the mouth is actually kind of papery. So the mouth is... Papery. Um, its tongue and thing is bigger than Kermit's. His mouth is easier to control. The jaw is more free for you to use. Ow! So yeah, that's Toby. So, he's another really good one. And, uh... Oh, here's Rick. Um, I think this is my smallest puppet. <clears throat> this is Rick the Dragon. I haven't used him in videos yet. But he's got a little tongue. So yeah, it's Rick the Dragon. He's not like a moving mouth puppet. It's a classic puppet. Um, so yeah, this is super cool. I love this puppet. So yeah. Uh, I think he is my smallest puppet. Look at him compared to Toby. If I Yep, there's Toby. This is him compared to Toby right here. Yeah, Toby is a lot bigger than Rick. So, Rick, I'm pretty sure it's my smallest one. So, yeah. He is a very adorable dragon. Um, oh. Nathan. Oh. Okay. Um, here's Nathan. This is my biggest puppet that I have, probably. This is a huge puppet. I know the fan's blocking the way. So, I'll try to do that. But... Look at him. He's huge. He's the hugest puppet I got. I'm literally standing this phone up on a pillow. So, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And here comes Sophie. I'm actually not sure. Yep, she's coming over here. Oh, yep, there she is right there. Little kitty cow. The, the cats are always in my room. Yep, <laughs> and there's Sophie laying down. She lays down every two seconds. So, 
Yeah. But, um, when I first got him, it really bothered me that he was a girl, I think, or maybe it was a boy, but it looked like a girl to me. So when I first got him, I put, it's a boy, Nathan, for his tattoo. And, um, throughout time, because I got this, um, in early 2019, the same time I got copper. And, um, so obviously it's going to get worn, the, um, tattoo is going to get worn out. Because I just use, like, I think crayons or markers. I think I use markers to put the tattoo. But you can barely see it. You can't even read it anymore. But the, it's there. You can still see it from when I was little. I read that. But you can, you can still see a bit of the tattoo right there. Like, I see that. I see that part, and I see that part. I don't know why, whenever, whenever I go to the front camera and I just start a video, it always goes up close, so that's why I'm like, what's up, guys? That's what I do. I don't know. But hey, at least it's useful. But yeah, there's a little bit of the tattoo, because it just really bothered me that he looked like a girl, so I made him like a rock and roll boy, because um, if you didn't know yet... Well, you don't. Nathan, you'll see this later in the show if you watch a few episodes. Oh, I think it unplugged and plugged back in the cord. There's the cord up there. But um, if you watch a few episodes, you'll you'll know that Nathan is a rock and roll boy. But you do not know that yet. But he is a rock and roll person, so he has very long hair. <coughs> It's like noodle hair, and you can change his eye, um, like you can change the look of his eyes, like, he can look very happy, I will do that in the show, or you can make him look really angry, you'll hear the cats in the background, but you can make him look really angry, <laughs> it's so funny, um, but I will be doing that in the show throughout time, I'll do that through the show, um, so, yeah, that's a really cool feature that Nathan has. But he is a humongous puppet. He's huge. Um, here's my hand compared to him. He is definitely the biggest puppet I got. Uh, again, a free jaw. So, you can control it as far as you want. And there, there's the inside right there. It kind of looks like a bit of a sock a little bit inside. Um, but, yeah. That's Nathan and his noodle hair. So, yeah! And uh, here's his arms right here. Uh, he's got movable fingers. He's like a blue creature. He's just... I'm not really sure what he's supposed to be. Because he's just a blue little blob. Alright, last two. This is Robo. Now, this is, I'm pretty sure this is the same size as Toby. So, he's one of my smaller ones. But, man, I love Robo. I love this puppet. Um, you've seen him twice in the show already, just in one episode. Whenever Nathan knocked over the food, he was, I don't, you could barely see it. But, he had a Hawaii um, little thing that goes on your neck, and he knocked down the bowl, it was Toby's food, and he knocked down the bowl with the Hawaii thing, so if you've seen the episode, that's why he said, whoa, the Hawaii, um, and then Robo here, so, he, there was no food in there, because all the food spilt out, that was, was supposed to happen, so he was like, yummy plate, <laughs> And then at the end of the episode, he had the Hawaii little necklace on his neck. Um, but yeah, he sounds like a robot, and he is just a cool little robot guy. So I hope you like me in the show. But yeah, I love all the details on this guy. I, I really appreciate all the buttons here. I really appreciate all those buttons, and... He just looks a lot like a robot. Like, I'm not really sure what the material is, but it is a very shiny material. And it is squishy. Like, very squishy. Wow, like, 
This is probably the squishiest puppet I have. Most of my puppets aren't really that squishy. I mean, this doesn't even have a mouth, so you can just squish it. Nah, this is my squishiest puppet right here. Rick is, he's just squished up into a wad. But this guy is super squishy. Squishy, 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 squishy. Plastic eyes. Most of my puppets have plastic eyes. Most of them do. Um, his little ears, I guess, are like little red things. Here's the mouth right here. Again, it's a free mouth. It's not like permanent. So it doesn't have any force. So you can just go. Ah, that looks weird. That looks kind of cool. Like it looks really dirty. Um, here's its little legs. His legs are pretty short. Because if you didn't know, Robo is actually a kid. Oh, by the way, fun fact, Robo is actually Toby's, um, brother. So, Robo is actually Toby's older brother, if you did not know that. Toby is eight, and Robo is nine. So, yeah. So, there's a little fun fact for you. And your hand goes in there. So, that's where your hand goes to control the puppet. Very cool. And my last puppet of this video, Cookie Monster. Now I have Elmo at Daddy's house, but why not get a Cookie, Mo cookie Monster here? Now this mouth is definitely the hardest to open. It doesn't. It has a lot of force, so if I try to push the hardest, look, that's the farthest I can go. So, ye, Cookie Monster. His eyes are. Goofy. Uh, I haven't cut off the tag, actually. So, yeah, the tag is not off Cookie Monster. Um, so, yeah, it's a really cool puppet. I like him a lot. His arms are free. He's going to slap me. Oh, oh that kind of hurt. Ow. The plastic eyes hit me. Well, that was my whole puppet collection. Um... Which one is your favorite, by the way? That's my question for today. Which one was your favorite? Was it Robo? Was it Nathan? Was it Copper? Was it Kermit? Was it Rick? Was it Cookie Monster? Was it... Oh! Was it Toby? Who knows? So, yeah. Let me know which one. Well, we don't have comments, but which one is your favorite? It, it probably Kermit. Kermit is probably my favorite. Yeah, Kermit's my favorite just because he was my first one and he looks super cool. So, he was my first one. And, um, he's super cool looking. I got some shade, yeah. I got some shade, yeah. So yeah, that was my whole puppet collection. It should not have took almost 20 minutes to do, but whatever. Bye.